What's up guys, Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, I've got a bit of a New Year's update video for you. I think it's the best way to go ahead and kick off the new year. Happy New Year's, by the way. Hope you are getting a good start into 2022. And essentially this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through a little bit about my fleet and what I've been up to over the past month or so. Um, of course, I haven't uploaded as much as I would have liked to. I've been working a lot, going out to see my friends and hanging out with my family, of course. All things that sometimes step in front of this hobby for me and many of you I know at home. Uh, but I have been hanging around here off camera and flying still, hanging out with some of my flying buddies, getting good time up in the sky as well as doing some good wrenching down here in the shop. So let's go ahead and just begin to talk about the big news here, which has to do with the fleet. As you know, and if it's not already obvious, I have a very large fleet of airplanes. I think the count at the moment, or at the moment about a week ago, was 36 airplanes, eight quads, and four cars. Now why I say at a week ago was because I went ahead and scrapped 10 of my scratch-built foam airplanes. And don't be alarmed, these are all planes that really were kind of beat up anyways, such as the FD Versa Wing, the FD Bloody Wonder, uh, two planes that absolutely got obliterated at Flight Fest, but I decided to keep around for some reason, then the FD Goblin, uh, the Simple Scout, the Mini Scout, uh, the Vector, very similar stories there, and then the Pun Jet, which was warped to oblivion, um, and then of course the Sea Otter as well, which I really never flew or had too much fun with anyways. Um, so no biggie on that. These weren't super important planes to me. Um, and I also made sure I only scrapped the planes that I already covered uh, with a few flight videos here on the channel. So I, if I want to go ahead and make some more about some of these other planes that might be on their way out, I can go ahead and do that before I just impulsively get rid of them. Now, with that said, I do have a few more of these that I do uh, plan on scrapping down for the electronics, including the, uh, the FT Explorer up there, which is... Uh, basically been replaced by the Strix Stratosurfer back there of a similar format. Then over here I have the FT Trimotor Bronco, which really is starting to fall apart, unfortunately. I think there's just too many vibrations with all those uh, cheap motors spinning the big props and kind of wiggling loose, I guess. So it's not flying the same anymore, as well as the Simple Soar up there. My Mini Guinea project never really took off, so I'm probably going to go ahead and scrap that one as well. And a few others, including one or two of my Warbirds right here. They're all three there. They all fly the same. I'm just going to go ahead and scrap them down. Now, again, the reason I'm doing this isn't because I'm taking steps out of the hobby. Actually, I think quite the opposite. It's more that I'm just trying to dive deeper on the planes I do have. Um, I've, really, I've been forced to kind of make surface level content with each one of these airplanes rather than uh, making two or three videos in a row on the Strix Stratosurfer um, or other planes that I really, really like. Uh, so hopefully that can really engage my audience further as they follow more of my videos. We can get more views, grow this community around a more niche subject rather than just RC planes in general. Um, so we'll kind of see how that pans out. But of course, also having all these planes in my dad's workshop has been kind of hard for him just to do his normal projects that he's working on. So like I said, there's different reasons here. Also, unfortunately, I'm going to be uh, spending a lot less time down here now that I'm going on a co-op rotation. So internships and classes and alternating semesters at college. Um, so unfortunately, that makes it so that I lose my summer break. So I'm not going to have three months out of the year out here just to come down every day and make uh, videos for you guys in between my work schedule. So again, either way, I'm sorry that I'm rambling, but I hope you kind of get the point about why I think this is necessary. And I'm gonna be taking all the electronics that I've gotten out of all these airplanes and giving away some of them, of course, to you guys, like we're doing later today, spoiler alert. And then of course, selling off a lot of them for cheap just to make money to put back into this YouTube channel, where that's for more RC, uh, projects, more tools, more things like that, or maybe more video recording supplies, 360 camera, I don't know. Let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments below. But other than that, I think this is going to be a real positive change. And finally, some of those other electronics, of course, I'm just going to keep and add to my other projects that I'm planning for 2022. One of which, at least, is going to be a very, very highly developed custom design of some sort. Maybe it's a replica. Maybe it's a trainer plane. Maybe it's something that I've just really thought was cool and I want to make this concept plane again out of foam board or something like that. I'm kind of getting tired outgrowing uh, just building existing flight test 
plans. I want to go ahead and step into the design pro process as an industrial design student uh, and start working that out in CAD, having a design plan and executing that into real life. A good example of that is this coffee table I'm working on staining right here right now. This is a design I made in Fusion 360 in CAD, so I kind of envisioned it in my head and then I got all the dimensions, I cut it out of wood and I built it up and this has been a super cool process all around to make a coffee table that I'm gonna be taking with me to my college apartment. So again, similar process, different kind of project here, but I can go ahead and think about something, make some plans, release those plans to you guys, make a cool video selection for you guys about this, how to build it, how to fly it, you know, different strengths and weaknesses this plane has, and hopefully that will be an interesting way I can contribute to this scratch build community further. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna stop rambling on that. I do wanna touch on my quad fleet here. I know you can't really see what's going on behind me, um, but the one quad that's missing that I have sold is my Sinuop, my three inch diatone Taycan. Never really got it to fly overly well, nor did I really get into Sinuoping overall, um, but I do have a two and a half inch Sinuop that I'm gonna be running with my new Insta360 Go as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, but for now, uh, I'm not really going to be using that. And if I ever get back into that or start Sinoping professionally, I'll go ahead and buy what's ever new and hot or build one my own. We'll see what happens there. As for right now, the Traxxas Slash Ultimate is my favorite car. I did get rid of my SCX24, found out crawling really wasn't for me. Um, so I went ahead and liquidated that so I can put it back into other RC projects. I also have a um, mini E-Revo down in there somewhere that I'm going to be getting rid of here soon. I have to go ahead and fix it one last time. It's been an absolute pain in the butt to fix, and that's why it's not as much fun to drive just because you have to drive it very gingerly. I also have my Rustler in there, which I'm not totally sure. I think it needs some transmission gears um, or something like that replaced, but I'm never going to be getting rid of that thing because I got that thing for free from BS Projects Inc. on the flight test forums about a year and a half ago. So thanks to him for that. And hopefully it'll still be making appearances on the channel. All right. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. All right, guys, so today's giveaway here isn't anything crazy, isn't anything too special, but I got a bunch of electronics right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and start giving these away. Um, it is a A2212 1000 kV motor. This one is an applicable B-Pack motor, as well as a ZTW Beetles 30 amp ESC. I also am including a Lemon RX Diversity 6-channel receiver here, and a selection of 8 to 10 inch props for you to choose from and use. So this is a great starter combo. Um, it is really nice. It's a solid motor build and my favorite ESC of all time. And these are my go-to receivers for scratch building. This one is straight off of my FT Versa Wing after I scrapped it. And unfortunately, I did get rid of all my servos at the moment. Uh, someone wanted all of them, so I went ahead and sold them right off. So I would throw some out if I had them, but unfortunately, I don't. So if you want to go ahead and get into the running for this giveaway, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Custom RC Mods on YouTube. And if you want more entries, go ahead and, and follow me on Instagram, uh, follow me on TikTok, as well as join the Discord server. I do pay attention to that as well. I also do have a Google Forms linked down in the description below where you can go ahead and fill that out just with your name and your email address and some other relevant information should you win. And yeah. So that's that. That is the giveaway here. I'm super excited just to start with these. I know this thing is nothing major, but I just wanted to go ahead and get one started so you guys can start benefiting from my excess electronics and other fun stuff. But if you guys have any other uh, comments or concerns about this giveaway, any questions, make sure to go ahead and post them down in the comment section below. And I'd be really happy happy to answer those for you. Good luck to everybody entering. Um, hopefully I can get this one out to somebody and have a good start or continuation to their scratch building journey. As I know this exact setup here has been a great asset in a lot of my builds. All right. So that's that guys. Hopefully that all makes sense. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on my new approach for 2022. I'm super excited to be creating some quality content for you guys here on YouTube. I'm aiming not only to make my videos super informational, but also to make them 
pleasing to watch and entertaining. Uh, so hopefully maybe spending a little more time in the editing room uh, rather than just filming something and shooting it right up to the interwebs uh, may be the key to success in that area. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns about any of that, make sure to go ahead and let me know down in the comments section below. Unfortunately, over this next week or so, I am moving into my new apartment. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to get the regularly scheduled content out there. So give me a little bit of time and we'll start making some videos. Here's to a great 2021 and an even better 2022. Thanks for watching as always. I appreciate the support and I'll see you next time.